Welcome back to Switch to Linux. Well, hmm, hate to say told you so, but was I correct about this whole Ubuntu snap apt snafu? Well, if you remember a few months back, I did a video called Ubuntu, the end of an era. And if you actually watched this video, and most people didn't, most people went to a timestamp and for a reason I'll get to in a moment and watch from the end and half the people watched the video and said, wow, yeah, there's some valid points. And some people watched the video and left a whole lot of bad and negative and hateful stuff and you know, whatever. I deal with all that just fine. So if you actually watched the video, then you know that I was praising Ubuntu for what it's done and calling them out on some questionable things. And really where that came from is a article that was on their launch pad. And this article here, which has still not been updated, um, this is a system that they say doesn't get used and whatever else and whatever, you know. So that's okay. But this ended up getting a giant article coming up in its FOSS. And so its FOSS came out. And they did this uh, this one, Stop Believing Rumors, and um, basically explaining what the situation is. Of course, here they link my video at 11.30. This is actually where most people started to watch the video. Skip over all of the introductory stuff and get into this. Of course, what I was arguing is, is Ubuntu getting rid of, of Apt and replacing it with Snap? So I ended up doing a follow-up video um, called Snaps, Apt, and Fake News, responding to the Ubuntu drama. And in this, um, I basically clarified some points and corrected a mistake in the original video, which is just all in well. But then, of course, I was reading through the Linux Mint blog, which I'll do a, another video on some of the stuff in here, and you get down to this big thing, and, and I start reading this section here on Snaps, and I'm just like... Are you going anywhere with this? Because I think a lot of people would have tuned out about maybe here, reading through something like this. Of course, you get through everything else. That's great. You get down here, and I'm just like, okay, I got to see where this is going. So I kept reading. And of course, they're talking about how Snap was kind of introduced to try and solve a problem, which, you know, they, they do approach some point in time. But of course, the negativity is this is tied to only one store, only one place to distribute it, which is different from Flatpak. So of course, some YouTubers have called out Mint for removing Snap, calling it the best part of Ubuntu uh, and replacing it instead with Flatpak. And they did that because Flatpak is not a centralized place. It is decentralized. And they raised some questions asking, is, is this Snap going to stay Ubuntu only? Is it going to lock themselves into a walled garden? Because if you're using the GUI, you need an Ubuntu One account to access them. Going through the terminal, you don't. And there's there's some little nuances there as well. You don't always have to have that account. It's just one of those observations that you make. I'm like, are you getting anywhere? And then you get down to the bottom and it's just like, well, this is interesting. So here is where I'm gonna pick up, is right near the bottom. Uh, I've been invited to participate by the Snap developers. I'm hoping one day we'll be able to integrate Snap into Linux Mint although I'm worried about the impact on market. I think Snap could work both as a client and file format if it didn't lock us into a single store. You might wonder why I'm all of a sudden outspoken about this. Well, there's a certain sense of urgency which demands action on our side. Ubuntu is planning to replace the Chromium repository with an empty package which installs the Chromium Snap. In other words, when you install apt updates, Snap becomes a requirement for you to use Chromium and installs itself behind your back. This breaks one of the major worries many people have had when Snap was introduced and a promise from the developers that it would never replace Apt. So while Apt is not going anywhere, when you go into Ubuntu, starting with Ubuntu 20, and this will actually be backported to as far as I understand. In fact, he says here, it's not just to delegate part of Apt to a snap in the current Ubuntu release, but to backport this change towards Ubuntu 18.04 LTS. All right, so when you go in, you type apt install Chromium, it, the script is going to run that's going to install the snap package of Chromium instead of 
and upstream development. So I went over to the Chromium package archive. This is, of course, looking at, the, at Chromium in Ubuntu. Um, and if you actually come in here, you'll see that the Chromium browser, the traditional package, is now being replaced with a Chromium snap. So here is the old bait code base, Precise Pangoia, Trusty Tezor, Xenial Xenius, my apologies if I said any of those wrong, Bionic Beaver, Cosmic Cuttlefish, Disco Dingo. Oh, look at this, the very next release. Notice that this is now going into the snap version instead. So in other words, what's going to happen in this latest version, Chromium 75 here, is when you install it via apt, it's simply going to run a script on the background that installs the snap version of Chromium. This is according to the Linux Mint blog and what appears to be the case on their website as well. So let's go way back to this article, Stop Believing Rumors, where I said, is this the end of an era, which this video had a whole lot more other points other than just the snap apt debacle. But what the point is I wanna make right here is this argument, this is the most famous issue that came out of this video saying that no, we're not gonna do this. Apt is not gonna replace, uh, be replaced by snap. We're not going anywhere. But you know, it seems interesting that when I'm thinking I'm installing an application via apt, it seems to be, according to their code, according to the Linux Mint blog here, it's going to be installing the snap anyway. So even if I'm still on Ubuntu and I want to avoid snap because I don't like it and I'm intentionally installing things via apt to avoid installing things via snap, I'm still going to have more snap packages installed outright. Interesting. So it begs this question, was I right all along? Is there much difference between this and replacing apt with snap? Obviously there is a difference, but if this goes through and this goes through quietly, then it's going to become a point where the snap invasion into Ubuntu is getting to be bigger and bigger and bigger. And this is, in my opinion, one of the things that it's causing Ubuntu to reach that end of its era. Let me know what you guys think of all this down below and definitely see if there's any interplay. Am I right? Am I wrong? I don't know. You guys let me know. And to clarify, I don't hate Ubuntu. I'm just calling out the silly things that a lot of the Linux community does not like. Let me clarify that. I don't hate Ubuntu. I'm not anti-Ubuntu. I am anti-destroying my childhood, <laughs> right? Uh, of course, I haven't been using Ubuntu since my childhood, obviously. I'm, I'm not that young. Um, but the point is, Ubuntu was an amazing thing. It was the thing that got a lot of us into Linux. But they are really walking away from their roots. Does it really matter? Probably not, because there's other Linux distributions that can easily replace it at this point in time. But it does beg a question is Ubuntu stays the core of how a lot of your downstream distributions run. This will start infecting all of those distributions as well. What do we think about that? Keep the comments civil on this one, but definitely let me know your thoughts.